What's up, everybody? Hey, people always ask, how come immigrants come to America and they always do better than black people? Everybody do better than black people. Because they do better because they get invited. That's why. The word immigrant implies choice. They get invited. They get incentives. They get a place to stay. They get, they get vouchers and shit. They get some form of welfare. Everybody gets some form of welfare. If not, they will stay in their own country. They get, they come here because they know no matter how bad they're being treated in their country, when they come to America, there's somebody here that they're going to be treated better than. Somebody here that they can look down on. You don't know what they're hearing about black people when they get to their, in their country. And then when they come over here. Even that go for uh, that go for Africans too. That's why Africans and blacks come over here. They don't see they don't see themselves as black people. They don't even call themselves black. We call ourselves black. Black and white is a, is a uh, is an American thing. That's an American phenomenon. Black and white. Because I'm not black color wise, but I'm black because of on my paperwork they say I'm black. It's like on the on the Irish, Italian, Jewish. Asian, Arabs, they all say white on their paperwork. They say the ethnicity is uh the ethnicity is Arab, but their race is white. The ethnicity is Asian, but their race is white. That black and white is an American thing. They do that shit in America. That's how they do that shit. That's some shit that America started, black and white. But that, the reason immigrants come belt, come to America and they do better because they get treated better. They get invited. You see what's going on now. I, even right here where I'm at, they got a bunch of um, German immigrants here. They got invited. They live in nice apartments, nice houses. They get they get free shit. I was watching these uh, these um, these uh, hillbillies arguing about the Confederate flag and shit like that. And he was talking about his land. How'd they get the land? Who, where'd they get the money from to buy the land? They didn't buy the land. The land was given to them. Most of the people that got land, it, it was given to them. All you had to do was come into America and put a stake in the ground and say, this is my land. And they, and they just kept it. And it was handed down from parent to child, parent to child, parent to child. And then he was talking about, uh, he didn't have slaves. Because he couldn't afford slaves. He had land. The land pays for itself. All you got to do is grow shit. They wasn't growing shit on the land. That's why the land wasn't doing shit. That's all you had to do, but they didn't do that. That's all you had to do, but they didn't do that. And that's why immigrants come to America and they do better. They come to America and they do better because they get invited. They get incentives. They get some form of welfare. They don't call it welfare, but that's what they get. Some form of welfare. How do they find an apartment? Just like the immigrants that's here now that everybody mad about. They bring them over here. They got them in the schools. They close schools down to make room for them. They got the schools in honor, and once they find an apartment, they'll be straight. They're gonna find them on an apartment and a place to stay. Uh, they got free medical. They got free medical. They give them money to buy clothes. They got their own language. Their language, they're gonna be straight. They don't speak English. They don't need to speak English. Everything they need is gonna be right there in their little community. They got a hospital. They're gonna have a hospital. They're gonna have movie theaters. They're gonna have uh, restaurants. They're gonna have fruit stands, vegetable stands. They're gonna open up restaurants. They're gonna have their own little, uh, uh, where they from? I don't know where they from. I don't know where they from. But they're gonna have their own little community. They ain't gotta speak English. They make it seem like not being able to speak English is a handicap. They don't need to speak English. They're gonna be straight. Everything they need gonna be right there in their community. Everything. They don't need to have people make you seem like they, they and that's the thing about black people, we don't stick together. Our neighborhoods can be the same, but we want an integration. Integration was a once black people integrated, 
We don't have jack shit now. We don't have cleanuses. We don't have nothing. All we got is barber shops and fruit stands. Not even a fruit stand. Barber shop and uh, we don't have shit. We gave it up once we integrated. Nobody breaks their neck to integrate but black people. We the only race that break broke our neck to integrate. And once we integrated, we didn't have shit. Yep. That's what it did. Yep. Alright, y'all gotta go. But that's what I was just saying. Once you integrated, you don't have shit. It takes everything you own. And you got no barber shit. You got barber shops, that's about it. That's why immigrants do better. They get invited. They get invited. They get a welcoming mat. They get some form of welfare. They make it seem back. And you get to see firsthand what's going on. Because back in the days, you thought immigrants just, just came to America, just found the place to stay, and that was it. No. They get invited. They get incentives. They get unearned benefits. And then the slick shit is they call them people of color. And then they get to piggyback off of black people by using that term, people of color. They call them people of color, but on their paperwork, they call, they're classified as white. That go for Arabs, Jews, Asians. Af most of them, I can't say African. But most of them, they be classified as white on all their paperwork. Yep.